Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into another Commander Snack. So this is a series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go hunting through the packs looking for creatures from the same tribe. So today's patron is KTW. Thank you for being a patron. Let's check out the awesome Commander here. So we've got the Borderless Art. Gallia Kindler of Hope. It's a mythic. The drain creature elf knight 4-4 four, four, for 4 with vigilance. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. And you may cast aura and equipment spells from the top of your library. And when you cast an equipment spell this way, it gains when this equipment enters battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Alright, so you can probably guess how such a deck would be put together. So we are looking for Elves and Knights today, so let's see what we get. And I've tried to pick the packs that will get us the best chance of that. And the Patrons also get the Rares, Mythic, Spoils and anything over a buck. Along with Art Cards and anything from the list. And here we have a truly awesome Gold Span Dragon. Uh, the regular card version of that is actually one of the top cards in the set. We've also got a very nice foil arctic tree line. Jaspera Sentinel, right off the bat we've got an Elf Rogue. Dusk Wilder, Elf Berserker. Mast Vandal is a shapeshifter with Changeling. So this card is every creature type, which also means it's an Elf and a Knight. We have Demonic Gifts, Coma's Faithful, another Elf, Blizzard Brawl, Spirit of the Older Guard, Boreal Outrider, Elf Warrior, and Elvish Warmaster. Okay, we totally got an Elf pack here. Creature Elf Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever one or more other Elves enter the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green Elf Warrior creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn. And for 5 and 2 green, Elves you control get plus 2, plus 2 and gain. Death touch until end of turn. And this actually seems pretty awesome for a Elf themed commander deck. We also have a showcase version, Svela Ice Shaper, Troll Warrior. I'm sure you would like a troll there. Katie, enjoy. Foil Raven form and nothing from the list, but we did get a boatload of elves onto Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So I'm not sure how many elves we have in here, but let's see Dawnheart Wardens. I wonder if they would be classified as elves. We shall see. And a very cool island Duress. Locked in the Cemetery, Sun Gold Barrage, Grizzly Ghoul, Diagraph Rebirth, Bane Blade, Scandrel, on the other side is a Bane Claw Marauder, Kessig Naturalist, is a Lord of the Uvenwald, Delver of Secrets, turns into Insectile Aberration, Village Watch, I'm just flipping cards for days here. We've got Village Reavers. And the rare is another flip card. We have the Malevolent Hermit, Creature Human Wizard 2-1 for 2. Pay a blue, suck him. You get to counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays 3. Also has Disturb for 2 and a blue. You may cast this card from your graveyard, transformed for its Disturb cost. And so when he's transformed, it is a Benevolent Geist. Creature Spirit Wizard 2-2 with flying non-creature spells you control can't be countered. And if Benevolent Geist would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. All his old grudges suddenly seemed laughably petty, so he laughed. And was there any flavor text? There was not on the other side. Okay. Foil Crossroads Candle Guide. And a slap in the face from Watsi. Thank you very much. May we have another Zendikar Rising. I don't know about you, but I feel personally insulted when I don't get those list pulls. Uh, this is, I don't know, some sort of shipwreck or something. I don't even know what I'm looking at there. That is a swamp, apparently. And we do get a nice... Foil Swamp coming soon after it. Very cool. 
Namana Sky Dancer, Malakir Blood Priest, Namana Skitter Sneak, Zulaport Duelist, Cascade Seer, Skyclave Shadow Cat, McKindy Stampede with the McKindy Maces on the other side, Disenchant, Merfolk Wind Robber, and the rare is Legion Angel, Creature Angel Warrior 4 3 for 4 with flying when it enters battlefield. You may reveal a card your own named Legion Angel from outside the game and put it into your hand. Seems legit. Foil, Drari, Disruption. And on the other side, you've got the Jari Ruins. And another slap in the face from Watsi. Thank you. May we have another moving on to Strixhaven. Okay, yes, some list pulls now and then would be nice, thank you. Uh, this one, Dina Soul Steeper, actually ran this in my um, Pest deck, Pest Combo deck. If you missed that deck tech and gameplay video, I'll check a link in the corner, check it out. We've got a Foil Island Expanded Anatomy, Enthusiastic Study, Twin Scroll Shaman, Kelpie Guide, Zimone Quandrix Prodigy, Decisive Denial, Solve the Equation, I think is still over a buck, I'll throw it in there, along with Plum the Forbidden, and Elite Spellbinder is the rare creature, human cleric 3-1 for 3 with flying, so when it enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand, you may exile a non-land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play a taste spell, cast this way, cost 2 more to cast. And Grape Shot from the Mystical Archive. Sorcery for two. It deals one damage to any target. Also has Storm and Expanded Anatomy Foilage. And study up on the story of Strixhaven. Have you been studying up on Strixhaven? Let me know. D&D. &D. And I'm curious which of these sets is your favorite. Leave a note in the comments. We've got a Grim Bounty. Okay, yes, they have definitely uh, taken care of some giant beast there. And a swamp, bullet showcase, plundering barbarian, circle of the moon druid. Okay, so a human elf druid. You hear something on watch, plate armor, Bruno battle hammer, choose your weapon. Thieves Tools and Triumphant Adventurer is rare. Creature Human Knight. Nice. 1-1 one, one for 2 as Death Touch as long as it's your turn. Triumphant Adventurer has First Strike. And whenever it attacks, venture into the dungeon. Also get Cave of the Frost Dragon. Land if you control two or more other lands. Cave of the Frost Dragon enters the battlefield. Tap, tap it for white. For 4 and white. It becomes a 3-4 white dragon. Creature with flying into one of turn. It's still a land. That is totally awesome, and a foil, unexpected windfall. Okay, I don't even need to say anything anymore. You can fill in the blanks. All right, Throne of Eldraino, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. Okay, so this mouse is a truly awesome token. I'll throw that in as well. We have a swamp, and then this is the bit where I try to build the suspense, so we'll chuck our rare down there. We've got Improbable Alliance for the Uncommons. Inquisitive Puppet! Joust, Trapped in the Tower, Tempting Witch, Charm Sleep, Crashing Drawbridge, Blood Haze Wolverine, Sporecap Spider, Searing Barrage, Lonesome Unicorn, Misford River Turtle, and Merfolk Secret Keeper. Okay, so will we have a big finish or crushing disappointment? What's it going to be? It is a crushing disappointment. Giant Killer. Creature Human Peasant 1-2 for a single white. Has this uh, chop down for 2 and white instant adventure. Destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. And for one and a white on the human portion here, tap, you get to tap target creature. All right, so there we have it. We did get a decent number of elves, although I am surprised we didn't get any knights or elves out of uh, Throne of Eldrain. But anyhow, enjoy the pools there, Katie. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.